Slayer player is a degenerate. That is 100% correct. That is uh, actually a factual statement. So this is the set I wanted to watch. Hey, by the way, if you guys didn't know where to find some good Guilty Gear action, check it out. MDE Silva uh, has a lot of sets just from all over the place. Check that out. MDE Silva over there uh, on YouTube has a ton of different sets that you can check out. I use this channel to watch Guilty Gear footage all the time. In fact, when I was last on my esports mission to Atlanta, I was legit in my hotel room watching Guilty Gear sets until I fell asleep. Like, until my eyes wouldn't let me watch anymore. All right. So yeah, I'll just say that uh, uh, you want a link in the chat here. I'll just link you this set in the chat. How about that? I've watched this set a few times. Uh, I'll just I'll let you know right now. Um, I've only watched a little bit of this set. I haven't watched too too deep into it. But the thing that that for me, right? Uh, the thing about this matchup, Jesus, already this fucking Slayer. I'm pissed at Slayer before it even started. This is the thing about this set that I will say, right? As this intro disappears, look at Soul cracking his neck. So this is what I, I will say about this this uh, set. Is that I, I really don't understand personally how you keep Slayer in this space right here comfortably. Uh, I really don't understand how to stop him from approaching on the ground. Uh, like, you know, with he has a bunch of different moves that move him horizontally. He's got his uh, backdash canceling to keep, to kind of evade a lot of your pokes. So I feel like if I try to be preemptive and if I'm soul and I hit normals in this range or whatever or like, you know, even further out, I hit like far slash or uh, 5H or something, right? Uh, when I hit those buttons, I don't exactly know why I'm hitting them or the timing. You know what I mean? I know that I don't want Slayer to get near me. So I know that I should use my buttons preemptively to try to keep him out, but I don't know why and I don't know what the exact range is. Yeah, I try 6P sometimes. 6P is a good button. 2S is a good button. There's a lot of different normals that you want to hit at the start, right? But, uh, or it, not even just at the start, but in this range in general. But I don't understand the timing or the rhythm of Slayer's movement. So that's why I want to watch this set to try to figure out exactly the timing and sort of what the mindset is of the Soul Player when trying to keep out Slayer. And also, when Slayer gets in, I want to see why, right? That's what I'm curious about. So obvious, I mean, that, you know, that's going to happen, right? Wake up, down, jab. Sometimes you just got to check him, huh? Uh-oh. He tried to he tried to uh, FD to escape, but yeah, that actually wasn't too bad. I think Slayer made it out of there okay. Okay, so this is good. I like the way I like to watch this. This is what I'm curious about. So he checks. He's looking for counter hit here to try to confirm into Bandit. There's nothing, so he doesn't cancel. I want to see what he's doing at this range or even slightly closer, like right here, when he knows that Slayer is gonna move in, right? Like this is the range I want to know how he fights. So he runs up FD. Let the whiff happen. Don't contest. Run up FD again. Just block. Nice and patient on the bat stomp. And uh, I noticed this one thing. So I got a few few, uh, few games in to this set. Yeah, he uses uh, Bandit Bringer a lot, actually. Just raw Bandit in the neutral quite a bit. Yeah, jump back FD. Just avoid it. Jump jump punch is a good interrupter. I like it. Good block. Yeah. He's probably dead, right? Yeah. Nice and easy. So, yeah, that was a pretty good round. I mean, the set play worked out, and he played the neutral pretty slow. So I like that. Yeah, 6P at the start. Mm -hmm. Punish, take the knockdown. Uh-oh. Yeah, you have to need him out. I like the 6P attempt, actually. Like, I think that I should probably use that more. Like, right here at that range, yeah, 6P is probably a better button. Mm -hmm. Yeah, throw a time cancel into side dust. Keep it safe. Oh! That fucking sucks. So why did he get clipped there? I want to see it. So yeah, again, at this neutral, Gunflame is pretty good. Preemptive 2S. He uses Bandit a little bit. What does he try here to get hit? Oh, he just gets clipped. All right, yeah, it was it was a far range button spaced out. Last time he whiffed that, he didn't hit a button there. So I guess that makes sense that he tried this time. Just blocks it out. ID out. Yeah, he gets clipped. The risk gauge was getting cranked up pretty high. Oh, yeah, burst. You don't want to deal with it. Nice pickup. All right, this is okay. I, I think I like this. Mmm. Yeah, I forgot how good this is against Slayer. You're right. I should probably do this a little bit more, right? Just late gun flame YRC for meaty. Don't try anything fancy. So if he backdash cancels or jumps or whatever, you can see it. I like that setup. PRC. Take the the run up uh, command throw. Intercept jump kick. I like it. Yeah, burst. You mean V reversal? Damn. I like that he's using jump jump punch and and jump kick as like intercept is a lot on the ground, right? Jump kick has huge range. 
take the knockdown. Air reset, take the throw, nice. Okay. Yeah, he was FDing. Uh, he was FDing to try to block in the air, takes the throw, nice work. I feel like he, he controlled those rounds pretty well. Now, the quality is not bad for a Japanese stream. He, he controlled those rounds pretty well, but sometimes... Oh, God. Back dash, try to throw. Man, he's just chilling. Oh, yeah, you're fucked now. I actually think that defense was pretty important. All right. Oh, well... Sometimes you get smoked. All right, that's one thing that I had a question about. I wonder if this is intentional, but does, does anybody know? Right here, after this, he goes for Bat Stomp, and he uses Gun Flame, or uh, Fake Gun Flame YRC, and it dodges the Stomp. Is that intentional? Or is that just he happened to, to be committed to the YRC early and it missed? Like, is this something to pull your your body backwards on, like, your hurt box backwards? Or is it just an accident? I, I feel like it just happened and it missed, right? I I don't think it's intentional, but I think he like I think he just did it in this range. Then the second thing here is he gets a whip punish slash, and then he just cancels into it. No, yeah, just the back dash cancel. I like the way he played defense in a lot of this round, honestly. Maybe looking for back dash there. That's what I got to imagine the late air dash is for, right? Nice. All right, he's fishing for counter hit. Yeah, fishing with 2D2. He tried Reversal Grand Viper, it looked like, over there. And it looks like Vanderlaw just hit me with the Twitch Prime. Thanks very much for the uh, sub, homie. So, yeah, I, I think that the way... What I've learned about the neutral here is that... Um, so, here's what I, I think I've already thought about... Or I've already understood more in the neutral. Is that I think I hit too many preemptive buttons against Slayer. In watching the set, he's doing a lot more waiting than I expected. I thought he was going to fight for that space a little bit harder. But instead, I'm fighting to thank these subs between my analysis. Thanks very much for the Twitch Prime. I, I think that's that probably makes more sense to me. To to do what he's doing. I wonder if he tried to, to IB right there and he got an excellent... <laughs> I fucking love solo players. Alright. Damn, 6P straight up loss right there. Backdash, counter hit confirmed. That's what he's been looking for off the 6H, right? Every time you hit that button, you're just looking for that counter. Because if it says counter, you just cancel and take that big boy damage. Yeah, if you don't know much about Slayer, he's got big damage if he hits you. His counter hits are massive. Uh, and he's hard to catch, right? He has these backdash cancels that he can do on a lot of his... Like on Wake Up and in pressure scenarios where you kind of can't you can't treat him like a normal character with his uh escape options so yeah it, it's just he, he's a little weird to fight i like i think the gunflame's smart and also not uh not teching out of that probably a good choice too double jump nice and safe he i think he really respects the the fact that he could die at any second to slayer which i should probably do more i feel like i hit too many buttons trying to keep slayer out and instead don't expect that damn he got a reverse run because of the dash there. that's fucked <laughs> He tried the back dash, I think. Mm, okay, yeah. More Gunflame YRC. Whoa, Jesus Christ, Slayer. Or, uh, Soul Players. Is he gonna... RC? Yeah, ID pressure. 6P. Block the bat stomp. I wonder what 5H is about, just to check him after and he dashed through it. Damn! Oh, God, no. This could actually happen. Damn, what a clash. Holy shit, YRC did... Oh, my God, it got fucking crazy. All right, all right, all right. This is only the first match. It's only the first match. Everything's going fine. Damn, this is a crazy match. Yeah, soul players are cowboys, dude. You know, they play like crazy persons. Good, uh, I like that a lot. Good 5S, like, when you know someone's going to dash up in you, right? Like, 5K is a really good option, but I really like him just waiting and then hitting slash. Because if, depending on the range, you'll get far slash, which is good for keeping you out, or you'll get close slash, which is, keeps you, uh, which is pretty good check up close to you. All right cross up uh it's so ambiguous actually oh no oh no <gasps> oh shit <laughs> oh dude all right well he's got burst he probably wants oh shit yeah he went for id maybe he was like reading burst i don't know actually that was fucked up actually hold on cross up take the 2d band it again Double jump. He FD'd right there, I think. It, probably expecting that blitz. Double jump. Make the blitz with command throw. Jesus, I love soul players. Yep. Take that corner carry. Gun flame. 
Oh, that was so sick. Yeah, he double jumped right off the ground too. That's the crazy part. Jumps or uh, jump kick, huh? Yeah, late dive kick, pick up, Fafner. Yeah, you're peace. You're peace out. Damn, he had a shit ton of bar. I want to see that again, actually. Jump kick from far away, actually. I'm surprised that that one right there in that scenario. Late dive kick, RC, bandit. Yeah, he did running bandit, huh? I like the combo choice. Is there is there a reason the rounds are three out of five for this set? Yeah, so three out of five is pretty common in Japanese arcade, so that you get better value out of your dollar. Because think about this, every every match they're playing here, somebody's putting a dollar into the machine, you know. So if you're if you're paying a dollar for every match, you don't want to play two rounds that could end pretty quick, right? You want you want them three out of five rounds so that you have a longer time to play, more play time out of your hundred yen. Right? That's a good that's a good way to to think about it. All right. So far, I've learned a little bit about this. I kind of, I'm, I'm selfishly watching this set with you guys to try and. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, I'll think about that. I'll think about that. I'm selfishly watching this because I don't really understand exactly what I should always be doing against Slayer. Yeah, a lot of preemptive bandit. I'm. I wonder if that's to hit grounded movement or to hit him in the air. Um, I play Sin and I play a little bit of Soul. I play both characters. Whoops. So, I actually haven't decided who I'm gonna main yet. Well, you're also not counting the times where he's won, right? He's played, he's paid a hell of money. Oh, got him. Yeah. Burst there. You're, you're probably fucked if you don't burst. It's first round. Good jab check. I should probably jab check more in that scenario, too. Yeah, I being it and then jab checking. What's the name of that move? I don't know. I, I don't actually know the name of that move that has the overhead or follow up. What is this? This one right here? This one? I actually don't know the name of it. Is Slayer the Urian of Guilty Gear? I don't think so. Under pressure. Yeah, I don't think they're very comparable. I'm surprised he didn't cancel an abandoned. Maybe he thought he was gonna have something else. Blitz, yeah, I gets the stomp. Oh fuck. He got smoke. Yeah, sometimes you get smoke. Sometimes you get smoked. Under pressure? Okay. Yeah, the soul player is Mochi, and this is Hase Slayer. Jump kick out of there, huh? Yeah, I should do that more, huh? IB and then jab check after, under pressure. Oh, that wasn't even under pressure, actually. Oh, Jesus. That's my favorite thing about that move. The fucking hit stun is so absurd, isn't it? Counter hit. Boom! He punches him into the fucking orbit. Look at that. Boom. He just bounces forever. <laughs> I love Soul, honestly. That's such a sick move. All right, what's what's the setup here? Late air dash. He he blocked it in the air. Yeah, good, good jump out actually on the wild throw. Blitz, counter blitz. Oh, he full charge. What do you do here? Oh man, I wanted to see the full charge blitz combo. I don't I don't actually know a good one with with uh, with Soul there. Where are the dragon installs? You only dragon installs if you're on a mission. You got to be on a mission sent by somebody. Corner carry. Whoa. All right. I don't think I've seen that before. Jump back on the blitz. He actually had a pretty good read about a, a couple of defensive blitz so far, huh? Fishing for counter hit again. Oh, what a fucking guy. Yeah, I think that was one of those revenge blitz, right? This is one of those revenge blitz where, like, you get counter hit, and then you see him reel back, and in your head, you're just like, fuck, I gotta get the hell out of here, you know? You're just like, I gotta get the hell out of here. But he had bar to react to the blitz and RC it. Or the burst and RC it. So yeah, you, sometimes you just get cleaned up, right? If your opponent has bar in a scenario like that, sometimes, you know, life life just finds a way. Backdash, I wonder if that was IB attempt or a real backdash. I think backdashing is, he's done it a lot in this set, so. All right, uppercut check, late air dash. Wow, I'm really surprised Bandit reached at that high. Was he looking for blitz? Is it double jump? <gasps> oh shit, it got crazy for a second there. You try to air throw. What an anti air. Jesus. Counter hit combo? Yeah. That was a good burst, I think. He's, he's got a big lead here in round count. Yeah, a little combo. Damn, big combo. Never mind, I changed my mind. If I if that was me, it would have been a little combo. <laughs> what a what an air throw. That was a good call. He gets a, is it, it's not even counter hit, huh? It's just fucking 2D gun flame RC, Jesus. It was like the perfect range, yeah. 
And then right here, you don't... Yeah, right here in this scenario, like a soul, I don't think you really have much left in that combo, right? Because you've already done, what, two Fafners? You don't really have... Yeah, you don't really have much option besides let them tech and try to air throw or anti-air. Soul does hit like a truck. Yeah, both these characters hit like a truck. Uh, Soul is like a... He's an anime Shoto. He's like an anime Shoto with like... A command throw. What do you got here? Just do Gunflame RC, right? No. Oh, no. I feel like, damn, what an uppercut. Did he actually get the C? Did he actually get the C what was happening here in the YRC, I wonder? Like, he's whiffing 5H. So he assumes that during this frame, he just did it, huh? I think that was a good ass uppercut to be honest. I feel like I might not have been smart enough to do that uppercut. I'm pretty sure I wouldn't have been. Alright, he's got burst back. I'm surprised that gunflame hit. Yeah, I think gunflame oh, oh, oh that was slick. Soul yeah, Soul Soul's a grappler. Primarily his mix ups are really grappler mix ups. The ones that matter anyway, run gun gunflame? Oh shit. He tried five H, I wonder why. Maybe just Did he think it was gonna Like I don't un actually understand why he thought I D5 age. Maybe he thought I was gonna hit. Look at him grab this motherfucker by the collar, you son of a boom! Just headbutt his ass. Headbutt this motherfucker. Yeah, I guess he thought I was gonna combo, right? That's what I assumed too. Look at I actually really like this part of the the match. Like this this is what I needed to see, right? was kind of how he dealt with Slayer, who is being silly at a range like this. Because I really don't understand how to intercept the character well, right? This is this is a new match to me. So this is one of those those ones where I have to sit here and think about this, right? This is one of those ones where I have to think about, like, sort of how he, he handles this, this space. And the answer, I guess, is much more waiting than I expected. I thought it was more about hitting preemptive buttons, but I think that opens you up to too many counter hits, right? Jump, punch, interrupt. Damn, that was fucking good. See how low to the ground that was? Look at his reaction to that. That's wild. Mm -hmm. Damn, he just tried to jump IED out of there, out of the corner. Yeah, I think that that's like a pretty common media against Slayer as a uh, soul, right? I think that this is probably the safest one. I think that this is like one of those, yeah. Like this is a really good choice, I think, right? I should probably be doing this more instead of trying traditional meaties, I think. Right? This is probably a good idea. Like this to me seems like the safest choice in a lot of scenarios until you get the Slayer player to sit still. Because Gunflame, YRC just like, it's like a constant check, right? You just have to sit there and deal with the scenario that's happening. Hey, don't worry about it, Kooky. It's all right. It's all good to me. I'm just happy that you like the content. Yeah, he just waited. Damn, he actually reached him. Yeah, I didn't think that that was going to come with that wake up command throw. <laughs> Couple of degenerates. Chain smoking in the arcade, huh? Yeah, exactly. I, I think that just trying like normal jump meetings and stuff against Slayer is a bad idea. Right? I think that uh, Gunflame YRC against Slayer in particular is a strong choice. Right. Yeah, that's what that's exactly what I mean. Yeah, is that the sen in the sense that like if you try normal grounded meaties or even jump ins against Slayer, like it's I don't like it. I don't love it. So Gunflame YRC makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Mmm, that's what I wanted to see too. I do this a little bit too, but I think the delay is important here, huh? Like wait when you see the backs away, 2S. It's a good choice. Far slash just buffer the uh, 2S again. Yeah, the range he's playing this. Alright, so it makes way more sense to me. Watching just a few minutes of the set, well, like 10 minutes of the set, I feel like I understand much more about how I should be approaching the neutral against Slayer. And I don't mean that just with Soul. I think I understand better in general. Like, it, it just makes more sense to me about where you want to interrupt on the ground. Jump forward there. I don't think I would have thought to do that. 
Damn, he tried to air throw. That was. This guy is much better than I, than I am. I'll tell you what. I wouldn't have thought to be so smart. RC. Mmm, beats the blitz clean. Yeah. Weakness of wake up blitz right. Oh, he caught him. Look at he's peeking so hard. Damn. Sometimes life just goes on. Right? Sometimes life just goes on. You hit that 5H, you, you pause for a second, consider your life, thank uh, Abev Kai for the 499 sub, then still get the counter hit confirmed because you tried to throw and then, you know, life just worked out for you. So you, uh, you just move on with your life, you know. Mm, yeah, stuff. He, I don't know what NTR he tried, but. Oof. This is bad news. I don't think you spend burst here, right? Yeah. So my question is, how does he escape? Yeah, all right. So he just waited for his opportunity to take, uh, what's it called? Take the uh, the back throw out of the corner. Save me, wild throw. Oh, he was looking to throw, actually. I think he expected, that was expected uh, burst, right? He must have expected a burst. Mm, wow, that was like extra save. Or was it a, it was a burst save combo with him? Huh. Oh shit. That's actually the worst feeling, is it not? When you just have this big ass whiff, you try to throw or something, and then boom, you get stomped on. That's a bad feeling, I'll tell you what. <laughs> I feel such like such a moron. I'm like, look, I was just trying I was just trying to keep it nice and safe. Wow, it actually counter hit him? Duel, three, three, yeah, there's always a mix of style. Guilty Gear allows you to sort of do what you want. Jump punch is a good button, is it not? I like how I say that because he he starts around with jump punch as like a an intercept and then immediately fucking uses it for his bullshit air dash. Look at him go. Look at him go. That's so funny. Actually, that animation on Slayer is one of my favorite things about this character. When he's blocking here, this animation of Slayer blocking is so funny to me. Like when he starts waving his hands, it's so sick. It's it's hard to see it there, but yeah, at the end right here, <laughs> man, he's a really cool character. Yeah, jump punch is pretty silly. It's one of those things that uh, I figured out one day, like watching some other soul player and thinking to myself, damn, that just seems so fucking good. Yeah, rock paper scissors block. Ugh, that's a bad feeling. Yeah, you got cleaned up that round. That's tough. Yeah, that's a bad feeling. I think that's the thing that I worry about starting with 6P, you know? That's, I don't know. Oh, no. This, this is what I, this is what I struggle with right here. Watching, watching this is like a good... This is what I sort of deal with when I play against Slayer. This is a good example of it. I feel like my counter pokes just constantly get intercepted. Right here he gets the job done. And then I don't know if that slash is intentional to OTG or he was just mashing because he got knocked down. But yeah, I feel like my counter pokes almost constantly get stuffed by stuff and I want to see why. Ugh, this character. Mother fucking Slayer. This is the kind of shit that catches me every time. Because you, you can't like always hit buttons against him like a normal character. You really have to consider this as an option. And that's something that I definitely, yeah, it's something that I definitely struggle with. Hmm. Good IED pickup. Oh yeah, way too far from Fafner. Damn, he got Blitz on the way down. I think you'll take that, right? If you're a fucking Mochi, you're like, alright, cool, he spent the bar, whatever. Oh wow, I actually can't believe that got a Fafner. Damn, this combo does a hell of damage. Yeah, I feel like shit like that, like the Mappa just comes out of nowhere and catches me all the time. Danny Burst. I, he will probably get one next round, right? Depending on how this goes. Oh, no shake. Oh, God. Bad Stomp. He's chilling. Man, he's big chilling. Yeah, he was stuck, right? I, I don't think he could find a way. I don't think he could find a way out of that, right? Now I play Guilty Gear pretty much every night online. I net play almost every night. Damn side dust. I don't know if that's what he intended. Or dust in general. 
Damn, he, he I beat it in the air and didn't get anything? Yeah, you had the RC to keep yourself safer. I play almost every night. I just don't play under the name Sage Jam. Can't you interrupt if you IB there? Damn, he got clipped. If you IB this, can you interrupt before the overhead? Probably not, huh? Maybe only with like an uppercut? Oh, he got back there. Yeah, that's that's hard to block. Blitz, prevent the burst. Ouch. Yeah, that's a tough spot. Right, he was getting close. Yeah, that, that's just a tough block. Right, you get hit by side dust here. He get He's getting close to, to burst. Yeah, he got cleaned up. That sucks. His risk gauge was also so high, right? You're just dead as fuck. Yeah, right, yeah, I think 5p, 5p is better than 5k for interrupting now, right? I think 5, 5k used to be the button to hit, now it's 5p. I never played Soul when he had the, uh, what's it called? Uh, I never played him when he had the 3 frame 5k. Depends, because if you IB and he does nothing and you uppercut, then you, that's bad, you know? Uh, I think PC is decently healthy. Yeah, I, f I find uh, I find matches uh, like okay. I just don't like the netcode, uh, but you know it's delay based netcode. What can you do? <clears throat> play any other characters? Yeah, I play a few. Uh, I'm I don't know who I want to learn yet. Okay, I should probably I should probably do this. Hold on. <clears throat> I actually didn't know. That you can interrupt like this. This makes way more sense. I should have probably thought about that. Yeah, you just jump cancel to try to escape, right? Alright, he got out of there. I don't think with what he intended to do, but he made it out. <clears throat> so, currently I'm playing Soul, and I'm playing uh, Faust, or sorry, uh, Sin. But I want to learn either Faust or Johnny, I think. Uh, also, delay based netcode. So, when you have you played fighting games online? If you played other fighting games online, I can give you an example. But basically, when it gets laggy uh, in a delay based game, your buttons just catch it, come out later, is how it works, right? Your button, everything's just slightly delayed. So, you have to delay everything a little bit, right? Because it's delay based. If you are playing, uh, what's it called? In rollback, it feels snappy, even if, like, you know, your buttons come out when you hit them, even if there's a lag, it's just the characters on the screen will kind of j teleport back and forth if it's hella laggy. So, yeah, it just depends on who you play. I like, so here's the thing about, I like Sin because he's a footsie, he's a footsie character, and uh, he has high reward for it, and I really like that. So, that's why I think Johnny would be really good for me, and I like Faust just because of his buttons and sort of the ability to, oh my fucking god, I can't believe he survived that. I think I would have died nine times right now. He I beat it on the other side. Dash, other side again. Boom, he gets back dash. Still blocked it. I actually can't believe it recovered. All things considered, this was like pretty good. Yeah, that, that air throw was really buff too. That actually is probably the best case scenario for that. And I'm fine with RNG because my luck is incredible. So I feel like I would have good uh, good RNG as a soul player. Or a foul player. Damn, you got smoked this round. That trade is actually so unfortunate for fucking. He does run gun flame. It trades off the air normal. Shake out. Fafner off the trade. Jesus fucking Christ. He's a god. Burst super. Yeah, Nemo playing Faust makes me feel like I'd be a. I'd like Faust. Uppercut interrupt. All right, I should probably be. I should be paying attention more to, to situations like that where I can clearly see the forward movement and just check with that. Uh, he tried to interrupt jump kick. That sucks. All right. Yeah, tech tech uh, jump jump punch is so good. Man. Damn! <laughs> the way he flipped across the screen is so tight. This game is so pretty. Yeah, just forcing a block. Walk up, bat stomp. Oh, dude. All right, just forfeit the round. It's all right. You should already be opening the pack of cigarettes. Not a big deal. Just get get the smokes ready. He leans on you. Just get the smokes ready. That round is fucking over. Jesus. All right. Is that what I should be doing more in this matchup? 
I should probably think about this. Huh? Super jump, jump kick to intercept something, and then jump punch off the air dash. Yeah, I guess I guess that makes sense. Kazuno Go still is incredibly good uh, at Guilty Gear, and so is Dogra. Many players are. I think that, in general, playing multiple games helps you stay sharp because in multiple games, you'll run into different scenarios that you have to find solutions to. So think about it like this. If you're fighting against a Slayer, who's such an incredibly mobile character, stuffing and dealing with like his movement options, and then you come to Street Fighter, if there's like a character that's kind of like frisky as well, then those kind of decision-making situations can come in handy, right? The benefit of playing multiple games is that you're exposed to more play styles and more character archetypes and more like situations that force you to adjust and adapt as a player. So when you start to deal with all those things, you become more adapted at stopping whatever is in front of you, right? 6P is ass. 6P is such a sick damn attack. 6P is fucking the best button. It feels so satisfying. What does he got here? Double jump? Actually beat the command throw? Wake up command throw again. It's second or third time, huh? He's got a shit ton of bar. First super. Clean this man up. Damn, uppercut? What did he think? He thought it was gonna be back dash cancel into something? Oh, Jesus. Is it one of those rounds? Or are we just uppercutting? Soul players have to have those rounds sometimes, right? Uh, am I still playing KI? Yeah, I'm picking it up on Steam actually, so I'm planning to play it soon. 5H check after. I should do that more. I'll keep that in mind. Damn, my man is locked down. This shit is prison. All right. <clears throat> I think that was a that was a read on the. Was it? I, I assume that was a read on the the back dash, right? So you missed the the combo there off counter hit uppercut. This is. This is probably a read that backdash is happening and it just misses, or he just wanted the air dash set up, but I would guess he thought backdash was coming. Damn, side switch. You got smoke. It's all right. Yeah, you're dead as fuck. Is there any point to, to learning KI in 2018? I mean, KI has incredible netcode and the game is still played a decent amount, so I mean, there's no reason not to learn it, right? If you're interested in trying it. 6P counter hit. Oh, yeah. he Wow, he burst so early. I'm actually surprised that worked. I thought he might see the burst on the way up. Jesus fucking Christ. This is why people play Slayer, right? It's moments like this where you land a counter hit and you just get to fucking blow somebody up, right? Like, look at the damage on this. It's crazy, right? Have I thought about my DBFC uh, Z team? I actually haven't played the game since E3, so I didn't get to play in the beta. So, yeah, my experience of the game is like much less playtime than many people because, so when the, the DBFZ beta came out, I was in New York for ESL, and then the other time it was out, I was somewhere else. I don't remember where it was. So I haven't been able to try it any time that it's been out. Uh, the only time I got to play, oh, he actually got hit late. I wonder if he tried to IB and just got hit last second. Overhead, yeah, RC that shit, you're dead. I feel like he should have uppercut RC, right? Like, or I guess maybe he's scared that he's gonna back dash something. But when you see this, yeah, I don't know. I guess you you just sort of guess there, and I don't know. He he was just committed to FDA. Look like there is an open beta in January, but I think it's when I'm gone in Japan. Do you know the date on the open open uh, beta? Am I gonna watch uh, Omito versus Zadi? Yeah, I'll be watching it this uh, when it's live. Mop -a punch. Oh, shit. That's such a counter hit 6P is that button, right? He's looking for counter hit 6H, too. So counter hit 6P is great because, obviously, you just you know, fuck shit up. But right here, he really wants us to counter hit. He's trying to hit confirm it so that he can do bandit. Bandit revolver, but... Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. I'm so scared, actually. These are two fucking degenerate danger time characters if I've ever seen them. Yeah, I wouldn't. I don't blame the burst. I actually think that that was not a bad call, given the situation. He tried to IB that. I think. He got backdash on accident. Wow, meaty jumping. I wonder if double jump was to catch blitz. It couldn't be. He doesn't have any bar. I don't know what he was looking for. I'm actually not sure. Blitz is ass. Oh, yo, that was fucking sick. Oh god.
blitz, air bl or blitz to catch the air jump. You know that he's gonna counter blitz, so you just walk up and super his ass right out of the air. You're like, look, bitch, <laughs> I'm sick of your shit. Damn, that was good. Yeah, people do forget that Super Speed's Blitz, but whoever has the bar to Blitz and then Super, right? It takes so much tension. That was rude as hell. You know, if there's one thing I've learned about Soul Players is that they're generally kind of rude people. Myself included. Counter hit. Damn, you got wasted. It was a good round while it lasted. It was definitely a good round while it lasted. Holy fucking shit. This is why Slayer is a terrifying character, right? Look, there's 92 seconds on the clock. The sun is shining. Everything's fine. Mary Poppins is in the background. You know, Chim Chimney, Chim Chimney Roo, and then boom! It's just fucking bad news. Bad news. You get counter hit by one overhead, and it's just the end of all days, right? You get fucking smoked into the corner. You take the knockdown. Boom! A second overhead. Counter hit? I mean, this round is pieced out. RC this bitch. Fully charge the blitz so that you can steal some of his burst gauge up, up up over here, right? Take this motherfucker's burst. He's not gonna use it this round, but take it preemptively anyway. It's the giving season, so you gotta do some taking. That's life. Yeah, that's the best counter hit move to uh to get hit to, to land a hit for Slayer for sure. That that sucks. Like that's probably the worst possible thing to get counter hit by. Counter hit six P. Oh, he missed it. Shake out. He was committed to a uh, close slash there. Oh, jump air dash. I'm surprised he didn't just do run up gunplay. Mm, I wonder what he keeps trying. He keeps getting counter hit by this uh, IED from Slayer. Like right here in this scenario. I gotta see if I can see what it is. This IED has caught him a lot. I wonder if he's trying to jump air throw. What is that? Is that a button? I can't tell what that is. Startup of something. It must be a bug. Ah, uh, Blitz not a bad idea. Yeah, you got smoke. Damn, you got smoke. Holy shit. Yeah, it looked like 5k, right? I think you're right, but 5k is too slow now to beat that. I actually think even old 5k didn't look like it would have been fast enough. He was like very early in startup. Damn, that was a meaty fucking jumping. 6P, did he try 6P, 6P? That's how you know he's a real soul player. He is so good, man. I really enjoy watching these top level souls. That's why I'm excited for Hawken in this league. He's such an interesting character for me to watch. I, I find his movement and gameplay really, really fun. Yeah, it's not three frames anymore. Damn, run up, caught him out of the air. That's what I'm talking about. That's the confirm you need, right? Run up, make him flinch. Get that 5k, find the 6p, fucking uh, 5h, and then air dash, uh, instant air dash after. This combo is like one of the things that I feel like you have to know. Oh, did you see the fucking lazy boy on that? My man is like he was in a fucking sofa. The air dash back, boom, kick in the back of the neck. <laughs> the damn lazy boy? That was tight. That was fucking tight. That was pretty good. Mm, late air dash actually beat Blitz. No, he was too far for that dust. Yeah, you can actually tell after the first hit that that was not gonna read. He gets him pretty close to the wall, but yeah, not quite. Oh shit. Oh no. Panic out, he's got RC. Wow, the throw, you're fucked. You spent so much bar there. He still has Blitz available, damn, good confirm. You know, jump H is a pretty good button. Jump, first of all, jump kick is a great button too, but jump H is active the whole time. He just takes a seat and he sits the whole time and he's just active, boom. Man, Soul, Soul has some fucked up jump buttons, doesn't he? He has some really, really good jump buttons. Hey, hey, how's it going? Oh, nice, yeah, trade. It, I think actually the trade makes it easier to confirm that. Ugh, empty low, he's got burst, yeah. Yeah, that, that sounds about right. Yeah, jump H. 
Jump H is a really buff button. That was actually probably miss counter hit confirm. I want to watch that combo again. Sorry. Trade off Gunflame. ID. Yeah. Second Fafner, I like it. Empty low. Burst out. This round's going all right. I kind of like, kind of like the way Mochi's dealt with this. Yeah, he thought that was counter him, but it wasn't. Still gets the throw. Gunflame Fafner is pretty safe there. Like, he, if he doesn't want to take any risks. Yeah, he got him. He's probably not dead here, right? Yeah, he's chilling. Late Gunflame. I like that escape. That's a good idea, actually. He does late Gunflame, tap Blitz, and then just get the fuck out of there. That's a good choice. Uh-oh. What a jump. He act, he has he made a read there that it was gonna be double command throw. Oh god, good block. He's got burst back too, actually. That makes Slayer super scary here. He can take a big risk. Bad stomp. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. This is so bad. Okay, I think that was probably the best time to burst, huh? It was scary, but it was probably your best opportunity. Damn, I thought he was gonna dive kick. Oh my god, he's so patient. This is actually probably the most, the thing that I'm taking away from this set the most is that he is way more patient in dealing with Slayer's pressure than I expected. He almost never like panics and just uses a bunch of intercept buttons. When it does, it's usually because it's in some crazy fucking panicky crazy scenario. But there's actually like uh, way more like just chilling and sort of wait and see kind of play out of him than I expected instead of just like fucking all right I'm gonna come over here and just hit all these intercepted buttons and catch you maybe it's just his play style but I really like that as an idea that was a good ass air throw he could die in one mix up here he's got burst though oh that was good look at jump H the god look at it go dude it does everything shit will mow your lawn look at that it fucking you whiff the jump H it doesn't matter you still come down immediately after with another button look at this all right, quick kicking him in the head. Whiff jump age, doesn't matter. You just hit kick again. Like, it's such a crazy button. Yeah, that was a good burst. It was connected burst, which is all you really care about in that kind of moment, right? Man, Gunflame feels so scary for, for, me, for him to do right here, but he knows best, I guess. Oh, negative penalty? <laughs> good IB 5K. Nice and safe, right? It's probably like, I feel like the best choice there, yeah. I, I think that was a great choice. Almost as great of a choice as subscribing for two months in a row. Man, Sage M's hair over Brian F hair. Look, I'm gonna tell you right now about Brian F. If, if Brian F styled his hair in a slightly different way, I might be in trouble. I might have dangerous competition or worse. Somebody who's surpassed me. So I'm happy that for now he's, he's allowing me to uh, kind of do my thing. He's really just being kind, you know. He's buff, handsome. He's got he's got potential top top of tier hair. That's a dangerous combination. Oh, he could have combo off there, right? Counter hit on the uh, bandit. Uh, no, this set, this set I really wanted to watch. Uh, it's not just like random Mikado stuff. I I really wanted to watch this set because personally, as some Jesus Christ, he got punched into fucking orbit. As somebody who is newer to Guilty Gear, the one thing that I... There's a few matchups that I find weird, right? That I really need to look at. Like, uh, one of them is Slayer. I just find him really... It's like... So, he's not a... It's not a play style or an archetype that I haven't dealt with before, right? I like this freeze frame. We're gonna keep it here. Slayer is not an archetype that I haven't dealt with before. And I have to deal with all these subs almost interrupting me. Thanks very much, Quiet Wabbit. Shh. It's hunting season, all right? You gotta be quiet out there. <laughs> Thanks very much for the sub. It's not a play style that I haven't dealt with before, an archetype of a character that I haven't dealt with before, but it's like I have to figure out what the best way to deal with a character like this in Guilty Gear. And the most important thing to me to understand in this is like the defensive choices um, in terms of the buttons hit, like when and where it's an idea... Um, is the best idea to check with your buttons or just be like, all right, I need to chill and just kind of wait. And when is a good time to reversal uppercut? When is the best time to blitz? And also like, um, sort of like, what ranges should you use your your buttons to try to check movement? And what ranges should you just respect the space? You know what I mean? Those are, those are like the most important things because characters like Slayer, I have fought against in many games. 
but Slayer himself is a little different. So it's not about like uh, for me finding sort of like a way to fight this style because I fought this style before. It's just finding exactly what ranges matter the most, right? That's sort of what you have to think about. You have to kind of find, because fighting a, a character like Slayer, it, it takes good understanding of the spacing on screen and like where to contest and where it's a bad idea to contest. Apparently that was a bad idea to contest. Yeah, it seemed like a pretty bad idea to me. So like this range right here, that Mochi's almost never hitting something first. Like, you know what I mean? He's just kind of waiting in this range. And uh, yeah, he, he swings with 6H sometimes, but he's almost always waiting for Slayer to do something first. Damn, Gunflame attempt. Ooh. God, he got clipped. Oh no, he could have been, that could have been big. I think he tried something harder than the normal uh, answer. Yeah, he's actually gotten way more wily on defense in this, huh? He actually got way more wily on defense in this round. I think he, it's because he realized he waited a little too long. I expect run here is to catch backdash, but he FDs. Fafnir maybe to catch it, but in this range, like he hasn't been checking with far buttons as much. So I'm kind of surprised he hit a button. There. Yeah, 2D is great. I think that in this matchup in particular, 2D is really important. Right? I mean, it's good in every matchup. It low profiles, it's fucking both. Late tech out of there. And just wait. Like, this range is really impressive to me, actually. Yeah, low profile, 2D, because he was swinging with it. He didn't counter blitz. I'm surprised. Oh, shit. He probably tried to hit a button on the other side of throw. Damn, he did H into H. Jesus. <laughs> I guess he had bar to keep it safe, huh? Air dash. Mm. Missed his ID. Caught him low. Nice pickup. He's probably dead here. No! Okay, well, life finds a way sometimes. <clears throat> Sin's uppercut is pretty... I think Sin's uppercut is much better on offense and combos than anything else. Oh, no. Yeah, he tried 5H there. I wonder if he expected throw or if he actually was just using it to try to check oh god yeah in that YRC freeze frame you could already see what was happening so it didn't matter 2d whiff punish smoke that sucks in this in this situation soul can he has uppercut which is kind of scary if you do something immediately but if you try 2d here and he happened to like dandy step or backdash or anything right like yeah. He YRCs, and he can clearly see my man Soul kicking dirt down there, kicking rocks. Kicking the gravel. Yeah, run up 5k. All right, I like that. A little bit more of a check. Sometimes I think you have to do that, right? So that Slayer doesn't get comfortable just backdashing all day. Nice. All right. So yeah, the most important things I think I've learned so far is jump punch interrupt. Uh, I should use that way more apparently than I'm using. That was burst safe at, at the start, right? Uh, I should use that way more than apparently I'm using. Uh, gun flame, meaty gun flame, I should use even more against Slayer than I already do. Jeez, that sucks. Uh, run up 5k, not bad. The buttons that I'm using to poke I think are fine. But yeah, nice combo. This is the one I saw earlier, right? Off gunplay. Is that options like do it back then? Or did he just do it? Huh. Damn, that did hella damage. Uppercut, of course. I would have uppercut too. I would have DP'd that shit every day of my life. Because I'm a scrub. But sometimes, you know, I play soul. I play soul and I play sin. But I haven't decided who I'm going to play yet. Oh damn, that was a good air throw. That's one of those ones where like I see it and I'm like, yeah, you're so you're so much better than I am, it's crazy. Hmm. I B. That's actually a punisher on the bat stomp, right? If you I B into slash, yeah. Full charge blitz, yeah, you lose. You don't have any bar. That's how blitz generally goes, right? Probably do that more too. I never really consider this an option. Backdash in the corner beats meaty bat stomp. 5k. 
Get your ass out of the corner. Damn, he got scooped. Oh, that sucks. Oh, no. He's okay. He still has burst. He's not gonna die here. <gasps> that was so fucked. All right. Side switch again. Slayer still has burst, though, so he can take one big risk. These air throws are fucking crazy. Damn, the reverse lazy boy. I think he was looking for burst, right? The lazy boy again. Air dash back, jump kick. I think he was looking... This delay here makes me feel like he was looking for burst. Fake gun flame again. I really feel like he, he's, he's scouting that burst hard, huh? Back dash in the corner again. Run up. That was pretty good. Oh, no. Yeah, jump back FD the whole time. You don't want to get clipped. Oh, shit. Run gun flame? No, he just got out of there. Nice and safe. Got him. Damn, the rank up match? Wait, hasn't he been losing? He lost the last game and he's got a rank up match? Oh, shit. Well, I'll tell you this. Nobody ever loses when they're getting about to be demoted and nobody ever wins when they're about to rank up, I feel like. So, this is definitely a Hase match. All right, early burst. Get this motherfucker away from you. This is what I worry about in this matchup, too. I feel like I get stuck in the same space that he did right here. Where, like, sort of he runs up and he whiffs 2D looking for some kind of forward movement, right? He expects something on the ground, which is what happens. But then immediately after in this range, I don't know, like, what he's going to do to deal with IED or, like, another Mappa Punch or, like, you know, something else dash forward here. Like, this, this range I feel like is so terrifying to play. Right, this range right here, I really dislike fighting. And I'm trying to figure out my best solutions to everything that Slayer does in this range. That's the one thing that I'm constantly considering. And yeah, I don't know. I had to think about it. Damn, he really wanted that burst, huh? Yeah, there it is. He really wanted it in that in that scenario. He was re really, really fishing for that burst. I just waited out, right? Oh. Back that. What an air throw, Jesus. That, man, I, I feel like my air throws have gotten much better. Damn, he got him, right? Yeah, you got you got smoke. My air throws have gotten much better since I first started playing. But it's crazy to me how impressive many of the like the the close like above your head wires the air throws. I'm like damn. He used a lot more bandit than I expected in, in neutral too actually. Oh side dust or dust in general is like weird to me now. Damn you got smoke. Neutral jump slash or H. The thing is is like I feel like what I've learned in this is that you don't want to be overly preemptive right. <laughs> because being overly preemptive is how you get clipped a lot of the times against uh, Slayer. I think it's almost always better. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. What a fucking match we're watching. And that air throw after. This Guilty Gears is such a sick game. Yeah, run up wild throw. He hasn't gone for wild throw in a while. I think it's actually pretty hard to get Slayer to sit still. This game is fucking crazy, honestly. Oh. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Yep. Slash, hard slash. A little gold and purple rings. So, what you're seeing is them canceling their moves. Wow, that's a confirm. I actually didn't know that. That's fucking crazy. So, what you're seeing is them canceling their moves. Sort of like if you watch Street Fighter 4, um, you're seeing them cancel their moves by spending bar. So, I'll show you an example the next time we see it. Yeah, counter hit combo. Take that Fafner. Look at the damage on this. This is fucking absurd. That's why he fishes with 6H so much, right? Because if you get it, and especially if it's counter hit, the damage is so huge. Nice confirm. What do you do after this? Oh, yeah, he just jumps over my right. I, I don't know what to do usually after I land super in that scenario either. Oh, is that? He did a YRC right there, right? Okay, so that little gold ring right there you're seeing is called a yellow Roman cancel. Uh, depending on the color, it'll cost different meter, and it depends on what, what you're doing. So in this instance, he has the yellow. Uh, so it's like a cancel, sort of like an FADC from Street Fighter 4 or a V-Trigger cancel if you're familiar with Street Fighter 5. So you can spend bar to cancel what you're doing, right? Yellow is the cheapest. It costs 25% of your bar. So if you look in the bar down here, uh, it would cost right here. 
this 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 bar and over. So it costs this much meter to cancel with a yellow, right? A fourth of your bar. Uh, that that is YRC right there. So that's the yellow one is is the first part. If you spend fifty percent of your bar, then it's the red one, right? Right over here. This is red. If you spend half your bar, that's when you're connecting with a move or something like that, uh, or it's blocked or whatever. When it's just movement. Or if something misses, it's going to be yellow. Uh, if you cancel something extremely late, then it's purple and it costs 75% of your bar. So like all of this meter and over right here, right? 75% of your tension. That's purple. And that's when like you make a big mistake and you're like, oh, fuck, I still need to cancel this. And you do it super late. That's when it's purple. So that's how you can tell. Wait, PRC is 50 still? I thought it was 75. Oh, shit. Yeah, it's 50. All right, you got me. <laughs> You got me, it's 50. <laughs> I almost never find myself PRCing anything, actually, now I think about it. Damn, that was meaty as fuck. 50, 50, you got me. That was so crazy. Was he plus even after him I being? Are you plus? Is Slayer plus here, even if he I bs? Uh, what's it called? This slide? Does anybody know? Because he backdashed. So I would assume he would only backdash if he was still plus, right? Or he just scrambled in that scenario. No, he just he just did it. Backdash PD. I feel like this is one of the most common defensive choices that soul players make, right? Backdash 2D against uh, Slayer. He's been doing a lot. I think it's pretty pretty good against many characters, but yeah. Damn, this is like, this is caught my boy every time, huh? That was a super late burst. He was, he was gonna die, right? So it was a good choice. I think that this is something I should consider maybe more too. I've seen this a few times in the set. That uh, fake gun flame, YRC to sort of check what Slayer is doing. And then he just YRCs. It looks like that's on me. Oh my god. That's a good choice. I should probably... Yeah, this is probably something I should consider too, huh? I should do more air dash H and especially cancel it. Uh, especially use it to, to go into stuff like jump kick to catch people. Because that's such a big range. It's something I should think about more. Like, I feel like I do it a decent amount, but probably not enough. Mm, yeah. Dive kick YRC is really good too. The fact that you carry momentum from YRC is such an interesting, uh, what's it called? It's such an interesting, like, idea to me in, in the game. And I think that so much of it is really cool. I just fucking hate Air Dash YRC. I think it's so stupid. I think Air Dash YRC is really dumb. I hate it. I hate fighting Chip too, yeah. Chip's an annoying character to fight. Yeah, I sort of agree. The balancing in Rev 2 seems strange to me. It's funny because, you know, the sort of situation with Guilty Gear is like, everybody who had never played Guilty Gear is like, man, Guilty Gear, Rev 2 is the greatest game of all time. But if you talk to Guilty Gear players, Guilty Gears are like, man, Rev 2's fucking whack. The balancing on this game sucks. <laughs> it's like, it's really funny, actually, because the people who I know that play Guilty Gear a lot, every time I talk to them, they're like, man, I'm fucking pissed at Guilty Gear and the way this game is balanced. And everybody who I know who just started playing Guilty Gear is like, man, I love Guilty Gear. It's the greatest game I've ever played. It's a, it's a really funny sort of uh, difference in sort of the mindset of, of some of the players. Damn, he almost got cleaned up. Uh, no, LK is actually not the person I was thinking of, but yeah. It's, it's interesting to me for sure because, you know... I think that people are enjoying the package of the game, like the fighting game experience that Guilty Gear is delivering, but it's interesting to think about top players being upset about the balance, or many, not even top players, just Guilty Gear players who have been playing for a long time upset at sort of the balance situation. It was not actually uh, LK, but... Yeah. yeah, you got some. 
Hellfire. Uh, it's hilarious how both new characters are low tier. I think that that is like an example of, you have to be careful, right? Because you'll notice this very often in fighting games when a really powerful character is introduced, especially DLC characters, it's really bad, right? Rev had that problem with, uh, Rev and Sign had that issue, right? Where a lot of the newer characters are really powerful. Um, but that's sort of, uh, what's it called? Uh, that's sort of like par for the course, right? Is if somebody releases incredibly strong DLC characters, then right after, like, I feel like they almost always want, they are kind of like careful not to re re uh, release characters that are super fucked up, you know? So that's kind of how people are. Uh, when you release DLC characters, you don't want them to come out broken because then everybody's going to be like, well, just buy this DLC character and they win. Like, you know what I mean? So, yeah. It's hard, man. So, some some DLC characters come out and are fine, but some come out and are pretty stupid, you know? It just depends on the it depends on the game. I need to probably get better at that confirm you just... <laughs> okay, I'll keep that in mind, too. You got me. You got me right there. I like that one a lot. Interrupt slash. All right, I like that. I'm gonna consider that one. Yeah, he caught him when he released that either. Is it dead on PC? I don't find it's dead on PC, no. I find matches pretty frequently. The problem for me is that the game is delay-based netcode, which really pisses me off. Yeah, I would've got thrown there too. Oh, what a backdash. You're a fucking hero. He's been doing backdash on Wake Up a lot. I guess that's something I should probably do more. Backdash in the corner is an underrated, um, strong tool in almost all fighting games, right? It's just a really good option. Yeah, that wasn't counter hit. Damn, Ring is hating on people's waifus. What a block. Holy fucking shit, my man was dancing out there. Did you see his fucking loafers? My man was moving. <laughs> he was moving and grooving for a second there. Did you see that shit? He was, I love this shit. He is moving and fucking grooving. Oh man, what a character, honestly. He had, the, he had his dancing shoes on. <laughs> He's got the loafers. Yeah, Hase is a wild man for sure. The best part is like he does all that shit and then he just grabs him by the neck. He's like, look, motherfucker, I'm gonna need you to relax. That burst was guaranteed on uh, 2D, right? Is that, a, is that a good time to burst versus uh, Slayer? Ugh. It's getting sloppy. All right. Oh no, well, he got the throw. Well, all right, I see what you tried. Five K. You know, a lot of people, a lot of soul players are, are kind of sad about the five K change in this version. But I never really played him when he had a buff five K, so I don't know what it's like. You know, I don't know what life is like with the with a three frame five K. That's why soul players are bad people. That was fucking crazy. I actually. Man, first of all, this run up, this run up uppercut, you know, this is how you make enemies at the arcade. I'll let you know right now. This motherfucker was close to getting hit. He does gun flame YRC IED. I think to try to cross him up, right? But the blitz auto corrects and he just fafners that shit. Jesus. Uh, Dead Angle is like, do you know any other fighting games, the LOL bro? Do you watch any other fighting games? It's sort of like a V reversal in Street Fighter. You uh, use it as like a, it's like a universal mechanic that characters can use to escape um, pressure. I'll try to show you an example, but there hasn't been that many examples of dead angles in this set, so there's only been a few that I can recall. Not counter hit. Oh my god. <laughs> Fafner into Fafner. That's burst safe, right? I think he missed it there, but th this is the burst safe 
That's burst safe, right? Version of like the starter on on uh, Fafner. Damn, that's rough. Actually, I guess this isn't the end of the world. Ugh, the bad stomp. All right, hit me with a dead angle, bro. No, he went for blitz. All right, well, I'm trying to educate people in the chat, and he's over here just going for blitz instead of dead angle. When's the last time he got a wild throw in this set, honestly? That's the one thing that's crazy to me about this. I really think it's it's super hard to catch him. Yeah, dead angles when they hit knock you like basically full screen. So it's like a get off me tool to escape pressure. There's the wild throw. Empty low, what a block. Ah! A lot of damage. Alright. I haven't seen this combo in a while, so I couldn't remember what to do off there. Oh no, don't give. Oh god. I think, yeah, baiting bird. Yeah, this game has a system called Guts that makes, uh, that changes the. <laughs> god damn it. <laughs> he got me. He got me. He got me. That was a pretty good uppercut, huh? Oh my god. Fucking soul players are too much, dude. Yeah, get off me tool is a good term that I think, Jesus, what a fucking throw. That I think almost anybody can understand. Uh, no, oh my god, he wild through the blitz. That's like the second time he's done that this set. Right? Look for air throw on the uh, tech, but he didn't tech out of there. Dead angle, thank you very much, Hossi. So this is an example. He, for, he tries to throw maybe a tech or something. Gunflame, there's the backdash cancel, and then uh, right here, this is a dead angle, right? So if you look at his gauge, we'll see, we'll, we'll go back and I'll show you the startup of it. So if you look at his gauge down here in the bottom, uh, whoops, I grabbed the wrong thing on my screen. In the bottom left down there, uh, what happens here when you dead angle is you lose 50 of your gauge, 50 tension, and you just kind of uh, get an opportunity to escape out of pressure, and it knocks them away if it hits. Uh, so generally they're baitable, right? So you can bait uh, a dead angle by like hitting someone and blocking or like wire seeing or something like that. Like there, there are ways to bait it, but yeah, if it lands, it pushes them out of there. It's a good defensive tool when you have meter. Hawken, yeah, I was watching. So the other set we were gonna watch today was actually the Hawken versus Tomo set that that's up here that just got posted. I was watching this when I was in uh, Atlanta actually. Run out of the corner, uppercut. Wake up, command throw. Does that a lot. That's a good backdash. I think maybe I should be backdashing more against Slayer than I currently do. I feel like I've learned a lot of good things in this set. Yeah, kind of similar to a V reversal, if that's what you're familiar with, yeah. Whoa. Do I recommend this game as preparation for DBFZ? I, I think it could help you. Yeah, I think it could help you. Uh, I think that there's differences for sure that you will notice, but, you know, if any anime experience I think is useful in that game. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ, what's even happening? <laughs> oh, danger time is so fucking wild. Oh, shit! Oh, okay, he, he lived. Alright, alright. Do I believe enough people will play SF3 on the Switch? Street Fighter 3 is coming out on the Switch? I didn't even know that. Yeah, 
Danger time is pretty scary, I won't lie to you. And also, danger time is one of those things where, like, I really don't know what to do in danger time because I'm new. So I just, like, I'm like, well, I'm gonna go fucking ham. <laughs> like, I'm like, alright. You of all people didn't know that. Look, I want I want to break something down for you, alright? I live in the modern world, okay? I don't pay attention to any of this shit. <laughs> the anniversary collection's coming to the Switch, that's cool. Look, alright, I have a Switch. And I just didn't know that, Jesus, that, that trade is wild. Danger time is crazy, guys. Danger time is what just happened at the end of that last game where the screen goes dark on a clash. So when two things clash like this, this, this shit is. And what happens is moves have mortal counters when they hit you. Which is fucking crazy. And they, every move is basically... Think about if you're a Street Fighter player. Every move becomes like a crush counter. So it's like super dangerous. Heaven or hell. Duel. Duel. One. One. Let's, Let's rock. rock. <laughs> yeah, there was one danger time I had recently where I was like... Something clashed with my beak driver as Sin. And I was like, well... <laughs> and like the other guy was like in the middle of whiffing something like actually important. I was like, oh well, that's some sin privilege right there. We just talked about dead angle. Dead angle is a defensive option that you can spend your your gauge on to escape, sort of like a V reversal if you're familiar with Street Fighter. But it uses your tension gauge instead of you know like a V gauge or whatever. I'll give you an example if we see it again. That's what a lot of this stream is about today, actually, is uh, a lot of people who watch my stream frequently are fans of other fighting games, not exactly Guilty Gear, so if you're a Guilty Gear player in the chat, this is a good opportunity for you to educate people who are new. Damn, he ran forward after that and just got clipped. Jesus Christ, we are fucking... It's caveman days outside. They're, they're, uh, they're getting a little wild out there. That was a good RC action. Yeah, you're just beak driver all day. That's actually the worst feeling in the world. I'll tell you as a soul player, there is no worse feeling than seeing yourself flying in the sky. Like, I just... This is the worst feeling in the air, in the world. When you see yourself just fucking free-falling. This feels so bad, man. And you sail down to Earth and you just have to accept your fate. Keep on rocking. You're right, Slayer does have a home. He has a girl in the background. Although I find that having a girl in the background doesn't always help everybody. Sometimes it's too much added pressure. Damn, he still got the pickup. That counter hit had so much fucking advantage. Jesus. Guilty Gear is such a wild game. Clip. Yeah, he's got homegirl in the background. You're right. What channel are these sets on? Gotcha. Yeah, my analysis for Guilty Gear will be a lot less deep than my Street Fighter analysis since I don't know the game as well, but... You know, we're just... I'm trying to watch it and get basic ideas of sort of what my... Game plan is against Slayer. We've watched an hour of this set. Holy shit, that's a long time. Who do I main? I play uh, Soul and Sin. Maybe it's time to check out the other set. 